Long range electric vehicles are a lot more affordable than you might think. In this video, we're going to talk about five long range electric vehicles with ranges over 200 miles that are very affordable. I'm Jonathan Stewart and welcome to Cleaner Watt. The first vehicle on the list is the 2020 Chevrolet Bolt EV. This five-door hatchback comes in two different trim levels, either LT or the higher trim level Premier, and the MSRP is just over $37,000 to almost $42,000, and it gets an EPA rated range on a full charge of 259 miles. The second vehicle we're going to talk about is the 2020 Tesla Model 3. This four-door sedan comes in three different trim levels, either the standard range plus, the long range all-wheel drive, or performance all-wheel drive variants. The MSRP of this vehicle is just under $38,000 to about $55,000. And on a full charge, it gets an EPA rated range of 250 miles to 322 miles, depending on which one you choose. The third vehicle is the crossover SUV hatchback, the 2020 Hyundai Kona Electric. This vehicle comes in your choice of one of three trim levels, SEL, Limited, or Ultimate. The MSRP of this vehicle starts just over $38,000 and goes up to $45,000, and it has an EPA rated range at a full charge of 258 miles. The fourth vehicle is the 2020 Nissan LEAF Plus, which is a five-door hatchback, and it comes in three different trim levels, either the S Plus, the SV Plus, or the SL Plus. The base MSRP ranges from just under $40,000 to just under $44,000. And with a full charge, it gets an EPA rated range of 226 miles. You can also buy the Nissan LEAF with a smaller battery that gets less than 200 miles of range for less money. The fifth and final vehicle that we're going to talk about is the 2020 Kia Niro EV. This crossover SUV hatchback comes in either the EX or EX premium trim level and starts at just over $40,000 and goes up to just over $44,000. It gets an EPA rated range at a full charge of 239 miles. Since this video is talking about the most affordable versions of these vehicles, we're of course going to choose the lowest trim of each of these cars. For the Chevrolet Bolt, we're going to choose the LT trim level. For the Model 3, we're going to choose the Standard Range Plus model. For the Hyundai Kona Electric, we're going to choose the SEL trim level. For the Nissan LEAF, we're going to choose the S Plus trim level. And for the Kia Niro EV, we're going to choose the EX trim level. Now, as you can see, I've listed the MSRP for each of these vehicles. But several of these vehicles can be purchased for well under MSRP because of available incentives and tax credits. If you look at the true market price, which factors in any available discounts and tax credits, you see here, based on this list, the Chevrolet Bolt is the least expensive EV with over 200 miles of range, and the true market cost, according to TrueCar.com, is somewhere around $27,333. The Chevrolet Bolt EV is no longer eligible for the $7,500 US tax credit, so that gives you a true cost, not counting fees, taxes, title, etc., of $27,333. The Hyundai Kona Electric in the SEL trim level, although it has an MSRP of $38,330, according to TrueCar.com, the actual market price is somewhere closer to $37,000. On top of that, it's still eligible for the $7,500 tax credit. So if you account for that $7,500 tax credit, the true cost is closer to $29,637. The Kia Niro EV also qualifies for the $7,500 US tax credit. So that vehicle goes down to just under $32,000. The market price of the Nissan LEAF S Plus is closer to $35,000. And the Tesla Model 3 Standard Range Plus doesn't really have any discounts. And before you add any applicable fees, the purchase price of that vehicle is $37,990. One other thing that could reduce the prices of these EVs even further is local incentives and tax breaks in your area. Here in the United States, there are several states that have very generous tax rebates or very generous rebates for buying an EV. For example, in California, the rebate for an electric vehicle is in between $2,000 and $4,500 depending on your income. 
In Oregon, the rebate is between $3,000 and $6,000, also depending upon your income. In Colorado, they offer a $4,000 rebate, and in New York, they offer a $2,000 rebate. This is not an exhaustive list. There are other states that offer rebates and tax incentives, but this is just an example that you do also need to check your local area and your local government to see if they are offering incentives for EVs in your area. So now that we've established the true market purchase cost of these vehicles, let's dive into a little bit of a comparison to see which vehicle might be the best for you. The first category in our comparison is going to be cargo space. When you compare the cargo space for each of these vehicles with the back seats folded down where applicable, the Chevrolet Bolt comes in with the most cargo space at 56.6 cubic feet. The Kia Nero comes in a close second at 54.5 cubic feet. When it comes to DC fast charging for these vehicles, the Model 3 has the highest charge rate that it can accept at 200 kilowatts. This in combination with Tesla's robust charging network all over the nation and all over the world makes the Tesla Model 3 the best vehicle for road trips. When you compare the efficiency of each of these vehicles, the Model 3 has the highest efficiency with a miles per gallon equivalent of around 141. Another really important thing to consider is how much legroom is in each of these vehicles. All these vehicles are pretty close when it comes to how much legroom they give you in the front seats, but the Model 3 comes in with the most legroom at 42.7 inches in the front seat. When you compare rear legroom, the Bolt EV actually has the most rear legroom at 36.5 inches. Another really important factor to consider is how much range each of these vehicles have, and the Bolt EV actually comes in on top at 259 miles of EPA rated range. So on a basic level, that's a good comparison, but now I'd actually like to dive into some of the features that are standard and found on these vehicles, convenience features and comfort features, etc. So when it comes to driver's assist features, the Model 3 Standard Range Plus is definitely going to have the best driver's assist features available. A little over a year ago, Tesla rolled basic autopilot into the cost of the vehicle, so the $37,990 purchase cost of the Model 3 includes basic autopilot. The Kona, Nero, and Leaf all come with some driver's assist features and safety features built in at that base level. But on the Bolt LT trim level, if you want any of those driver's assist features, that'll cost you an extra $1,500. When it comes to heated seats, the Model 3 Standard Range Plus does come with front heated seats. The Kona EV has front heated seats as well. And if you buy the Nero or the Leaf, you cannot get heated seats in the lowest trim level of each of these vehicles. You have to actually move up to the highest trim level. The only two vehicles on this list that come with navigation built in are of course the Model 3 and the Leaf. If you would like a web browser and internet connectivity, the Model 3 Standard Range Plus is the only one of these vehicles with that. And it comes with 30 days free and then after that it's $9.99 a month. When it comes to power adjustable front seats, the Standard Range Plus Model 3 and the Nero EX both come with powered seats. For the Kona SEL trim level, only the driver's seat is powered, but the passenger's seat is not. All of the vehicles, with the exception of the Leaf S Plus at the base trim level, have heated side view mirrors. And all these vehicles come with a DC fast charger built in, except for the Bolt LT. That's a $750 add-on. If you would like your Model 3 to be a color other than white, you have to pay between $1,000 and $2,000 additional to get some of the other colors. The Bolt does have a few premium colors that cost an additional $395, and the other three vehicles, you can choose any of the paint colors for no added cost. The last comparison I'd like to make is how much warranty is given by the manufacturer for each of these vehicles. If you take a look at this chart, the Model 3 Standard Range Plus has a very solid warranty for the battery, powertrain, and for the comprehensive warranty. The Kona EV, however, has the best warranty because it offers a lifetime battery warranty for the original owner. It also offers a 10-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty and a 5-year, 60,000-mile comprehensive warranty. The Bolt EV and the Leaf Plus both have pretty short comprehensive warranties of just 3 years, 36,000 miles. So here's a summary based on all the metrics we looked at for each of these categories. 
In my opinion, the vehicle with the best value, once you factor in all the eligible discounts, tax credits, and things like that, is the Kona EV. If you want the nicest vehicle with the most tech and the best features, of course the Model 3 Standard Range Plus is definitely the winner there. When it comes to the vehicle with the most cargo room and passenger room, the Bolt EV wins that category. And when it comes to range and efficiency, I gave the Model 3 Standard Range Plus the win on that one. Although it does have a slightly lower EPA rated range than the Kona and the Bolt, it does have a much greater efficiency, so the actual time charging if you're on a road trip or something like that will be way less. Of course, the Model 3 Standard Range Plus will charge the fastest by a long shot because of its higher charge rate. And when it comes to the warranty, as we mentioned, the Kona EV has the best warranty with that lifetime battery warranty for the original owner. In summary, each of these electric vehicles do have their pluses and minuses, and I believe that they do fit different markets and different people. My top two choices between these vehicles are definitely the Model 3 Standard Range Plus and the Kona EV. Both of these vehicles are very impressive and offer a lot of value. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that you learned something as well. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, if you click the bell icon, you'll be notified when new videos are published. Also, if you did like the video, please consider clicking the like button so other people can find the video as well. And here at the end, I wanted to mention the Patreon supporters, which support me every month and help me make content. If you'd like to find out more about the Patreon community that I've set up, you can find out more by clicking the link in the description below. Thank you so much.